Hello everyone, John Odom, drum set percussion teacher here with Groove of Passion Drum Lessons. I hope that you're all doing well and enjoying the new year. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and film part two of the last video that I um, submitted. Okay, and this is the 876 countdown uh, exercise, adding your bass drum and hi-hat. Now in the first video, this is the uh, exercise with Peter Erskine, all right, where you play uh, eight, seven, six, you're counting your strokes. It's actually meant as a hand warm up, okay? So warm up for the hands. Three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven. So now six, five, all the way down to one, and then back up to eight. So an exercise you've got to pay attention to um, because you're counting your number of strokes. So it's a great little warm up. It's to quote Peter Erskine. It is a fun warm up, and it is. Um, and so, what I decided is like I decided, well, we can add bass drum and hi hat to this exercise to turn it into a limb independence exercise. We're building our limb independence. And so, in the first video, quick recap, I started everything on beat one, like so: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and everything started on the odd numbers, okay, or on one, and then it shifts over to the even numbers the second time you play an odd number of strokes here. So for today's video, part two, to do something a little different, instead of starting on the odd numbers, I'm actually going to start on the even numbers. So same principle it's going to this the um bass drum and hi-hat will shift over at the same place which is the second time you play an odd number of strokes but it is a little bit different because you're starting on beat two but same principle so let me go ahead and demonstrate that okay remember not on beat one starting on beat two with the bass drum like so one two three Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's where the bass drum will shift over to the odd numbers because you just played seven by itself. Remember, the idea is bass drum every other stroke. Okay, so it's going to go one, two, three, four. Six, seven, then it's going to shift back over to even numbers for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Shifts back over to the odd numbers. One, two, three, four, five. Shifts back. Well, it will shift back over to the even numbers for four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Shifts back over to the odd numbers for three. One, two, three. Back over the even numbers for two. One, two, one, two, one, one. That's where it gets a little tricky. And a lot of times when students are playing this even, even if they're playing this just with their hands, a lot of times they, they get tripped up when you get down to three, two, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, 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 two, one, two. So it can get a little tricky there. Okay. But again, just keeping track of focus on this here. Focus on your strokes because you have to count these. We try to put our bass drum on autopilot, meaning we're not concentrating on, on the bass drum. Our focus is here. We're just letting our bass drum play every other stroke. Okay, so one, one, we're going back up take now. One, 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 two, one, two, one, two, three. Shifts over to odd. One, two, three. Shifts back over to even. You're starting to see the pattern now. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
three, four, five. Shifts back over. One, two, three, four, five. Shifts back over to even. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Back over to I. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shifts back over to even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Okay. Now, what is the goal with this? Well, you want to be able to work this up and get comfortable with it to where you're not having to struggle to play it. You can just play it just like if you're playing an eighth note groove or quarter note groove that is easy for you okay so you want to build some speed up with this so let me just play it i'm not going to count I'm just going to play it you can count the strokes as you watch this okay ah i messed up there try that again for the mistake and if you can even build it up you know faster that's fantastic okay now whatever we play with the bass drum in this case you can also play with the hi-hat so this is how it's going to be played with a hi-hat again same idea starting on beat two starting on the even numbers like so one two three Shifts over to the odd numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shifts back over to even numbers for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Shifts back over to the odd numbers, right? Or even numbers, sorry. Even numbers. Five. One odd number, sorry. One, two, three, four, five. Back to even numbers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, 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 two. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, back to even, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. So, it can get a little tricky. I don't believe it's a super, super difficult. I mean, there are grooves, full grooves that you play that are certainly more difficult than this, but. I believe every exercise that we can do to improve and work on our limb independence can certainly help us to play more complex grooves, you know, learn them uh, more easily. Uh, because limb independence is something you know, even the top drummers are still working on. You still practice that, just like you're always practicing hand technique, or at least 
we should always be practicing hand technique rudiments. Um, so I hope this exercise really helps you guys. Um, I think it's a fun exercise. It's something you can do. Not only you don't have to have the drum set, you could do it just sitting in a chair, feet on the floor, play your, with your hands on your lap, you know, because just drums are an exercise that we can practice without the instrument um, if we need to. Now, same idea with the hi-hat as with the bass drum. Put this on autopilot. Put the hi-hat on autopilot. Focus and concentrate on the strokes you're counting. You, know, or the, you have to count your strokes you're playing on the pad, on the practice pad. So that's got to be, you know, that's where your attention has to be. It takes some time to develop this. Um, but it, with anything else, with repetition, start slow. Okay, yes, we want to build it up to a faster speed. But make sure you're accurate with your strokes. The pattern only works if you play the correct number of strokes each time. Okay. All right. Now, I am currently enrolling new students for drum lessons. Um, it's a new year, new opportunity to learn something new or, you know, um, great time to venture out and maybe try something different, something new. So if you know someone or if you yourself are looking to learn how to play the drums, and I've got most of them put away so you could see, but I do have a full drum set. Um, then um, I am currently enrolling new students. I am currently teaching at um, the Flamenco and Art School. Uh, we are in uh, the Narcusi Business Park on Narcusi Road in Orlando. And uh, right there at the school, we offer flamenco lessons. We also offer ballet lessons, drum lessons, piano lessons, violin, guitar. Uh, so we offer all these different lessons for students. Uh, I do have some spots available for uh, drum students right now. I also go to students' homes in the Orlando area. So if you would prefer to have an in-home lesson, uh, I can certainly do that. And then uh, I also can teach online. I teach with Zoom right here, uh, with the, uh, right here in the music room. So we can also do online lessons if you prefer that. I've been fully background checked. I've been certified safe to work with children. I've been teaching for over 14 years, and this is what I love to do. Uh, playing and teaching the drums is my passion. Um, if you enjoy the video, please feel free to like it. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, uh, please feel free to subscribe. I will be putting out more videos uh, periodically in the future. And because uh, I do this just to help anyone who wants to learn more about drumming. Uh, if you got any questions, I'll be glad to answer them the best I can. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day and take care.